Governor Chris says he wants to keep homeowners in their homes. He announced plans for a foreclosure moratorium, but many call the plan a weak attempt to make any real difference. Fox 13's Tanya Arja explains. 166,000 households in Florida were in foreclosure last month. Governor Christ wants families to be able to stay in their homes, especially now during the holidays. We're here today to offer hope uh, to those who certainly deserve it and need it uh, during these challenging economic times, uh, an opportunity to keep their home. The governor has asked lenders to voluntarily stop foreclosures for 45 days, but will it help? Well, from what I've heard, it's an announcement without any substance. Uh, it's, uh, it's a totally, it's not even a drop in the bucket right now with the problem. Terry Smiljanich says to be effective, you need a longer moratorium. California just implemented a 90-day relief. 45 days, Smiljanich says, is just not enough. I don't know what it does, it's other than just really sound like a, a feel-good kind of a, a announcement to make to uh, look like you're doing something, but actually a 45-day moratorium solves very little, if anything. Attorneys who deal with foreclosure say one of the problems with the governor's plan is that it doesn't affect families who are already in the foreclosure process. It's only for foreclosure proceedings from this day forward. Those who may qualify must show they have a need for delaying their payments. They must agree to a repayment plan and can't have any history of mortgage fraud. Also, the need must be for their primary home. This is to help people who really need help. This is not for somebody who went and bought a bunch of condos in South Florida in the spec market. Smiljanich believes everyone dealing with a foreclosure should be included if the governor really wants to help families. Tanya Arja, Fox 13 News. The moratorium does not include help for businesses. Attorneys say even if you are already in foreclosure proceedings, you might try talking with your lender and asking them to include you in this moratorium. Tonight at 6, we're going to talk to a homeowner who is very frustrated with the governor's new plan.